Hi, I'm your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to be talking about projectile motion. Projectiles go up and they come down. The first sentence of the problem gives you all the information you need. The basic equation is h equals negative 16t squared plus v sub 0t plus h sub 0. h is the height above the ground. Negative 16 is the effect of gravity on the projectile. T is the time in seconds that the projectile is actually in the air. V sub 0 is the speed of the object as it shoots off from its launcher. And H sub 0 is the height of the launcher above the ground. All the numbers in those positions have special meanings. So let's look at our equation. h equals negative 16t squared plus 180t plus 6. That's called the trajectory. h is how high the ball is above the ground at any time. So we're going to put 206 feet in for h and then write down the rest of the equation. Notice it's a quadratic equation, so we have to use the zero principle and subtract 206 from both sides of the equation. That'll leave us with zero equals negative 16t squared plus 180t plus minus 200. My cat is yelling at me. Maybe if I pet her, she'll stop making noise. All right, we have to find a GCF, a greatest common factor. And that's going to be negative 4. Normally, I'd say 4, but if the first term is negative, we have to make the greatest common factor negative. What I'm doing is I'm dividing each number by the GCF in order to make the numbers in the quadratic equation smaller. I'm less likely to make a mistake if I can make my numbers smaller. When I divide by a negative number, all of the, all of the terms take on uh, opposite signs from what they had. Now we're going to use the quadratic formula. Our a will be 4, our b will be negative 45, our c will be 50. You never know when my animals are going to chime in and help with the video, so just be prepared. Here's the quadratic formula for t because t is acting like x. t equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So t is going to equal negative parentheses negative 45 plus or minus the square root of parentheses negative 45 squared minus 4 times 4 times 50 and pull the top of the radical over every number that's supposed to be under the radical over 2 times 4. That will give us t equals 45 plus or minus the square root of 2025 minus 800 all over 8. So t will equal 45 plus or minus the square root of 1225 all over 8. 
and that will give us t equals 45 plus or minus 35 all over 8. The square root of 1225 is 35. Now I'm going to split t apart into two possible answers. 45 minus 35 over 8 and 45 plus 35 over 8. So, and so t will equal 10, 10 eighths, which is 5 fourths seconds, the time going up. And t will equal 80 over 8, which is 10 seconds coming down. If you can imagine a stopwatch starting the instant the uh, tennis player serves the ball over her head, that's when the ball starts going up, that's when the stopwatch starts. At 1.25 seconds, the ball goes through 206, 206 feet, and the stopwatch keeps going, and the ball then again goes through 206 feet as it comes down.